Hello guys, Lim Ducks here. Welcome to this video. So today we're going to talk about how to really trade the first green day, especially on the recent runners. Gonna cover the first green day on Biotech, OKYL, and HPX. And some of the patterns has performed exactly the same, especially for non-crowded traders on intraday, on their first day, uh, on the round. Other than that, pretty much majority of the first green day are not tradable. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the patterns that can be recognized. We also have a new course that just came out. I will link uh, in the bio and let's get into the video. All right, so first one, let's go over the most recent one. We had HPX. This is an IPO play. Uh, we haven't had one of those tickers for a very long time. The first green day, uh, typically what we're dealing with in the last two months was pretty much all biotechs. Right now we do have something that's not biotechs and the stock went from 9 to 50 in a really thin volume. So I was tracking a couple levels on these tickers. Uh, there's one level starting from the bottom around 9 to 50. This is day day high. First thing I want to track is how much did it pull from the first parabolic. Typically, if it pulled way too much, there's a high chance that the back holder wants to get out uh, into the second bounce. This ticker looks very similar to the ticker that happened recently, which is OKYO. Another one, uh, but this is a biotech sector. Uh, one thing I want to emphasize is biotech sector has completely different, I would say, fading percentages. The data is completely different. Only bound short can work on biotech sectors. Sometimes even bound short don't even work that well because of the weird statistics. Typical fading percentage for bound short is 50%. Typical fading percentage for, uh, for biotech sometimes can be as low as 30%. So um, let's go to February 17th over here. We had another one of the parabolic spike, very similar as HPX trading much more volume faded up to more than 50% from the top on uh, the entire uh, gain range is from 2.4 to 7 so in the middle this is the 50% mark right here it's almost the 70% mark and once it faded that much typically the chart can trap enough people who bought around 7 and they're you know, desperate to get out into a bounce if you think about the psychology of first green day, typically you don't really have any resistance. That's number one. Number two, you're pretty much traded based on chart reaction and also on the level two. And based on different flow and market caps, the spiking percentage on the first parabolic typically has all kinds of variations. Uh, for billion dollar cap, you can only spike up to 30%. For lower cap, you can spike up to hundreds of percent. It also depends on the flow. So typically for beginners, I do not recommend try to top tick on the first parabolic. Wait until the stock pulls back and depends on how far it pulls back. You can kind of make your plan while the stock is spiking and calculate the pullback percentages to make sure that your shorting strategy have a good winning percentage. This one came all the way back testing the 6.1, so which is 15% of the high. When you're sizing around 15, uh, you're taking, I'll say, a decent risk. So typically when you are shorting around first green day, your risk reward will not be that great. Your risk reward most of the time is around one to one. So in this in OKYO, typically first green day do not fade all the way back down to the neutralized area where it spiked. So 90% of the time you end 75%, uh, 25% sorry, above the neutralized area. So if you look at the neutralized area, which you are starting to count in where the bottom came in. So three times, 25 percent so that's around four dollar area so the stock should end around four by pulled all the way back to 3.2 the fading percentage cannot be tracked into the average fading percentage for the first green day same thing goes to hpx let's do some math around here we had a start spike in price is around nine went all the way to 50. the first parabolic spike pulled back to 22 so the median range are from uh, 9.94 to 36 so you're using 36 minus 9 divided by 2 that's the 50 percent mark you landed right around the 50 uh, percent mark respect the game whenever you're looking at first green day and the stock didn't pull only pulled 50 percent so the back holders still have hope that the stock will spike and they're not likely to sell but if it, if it pulls more than 50 percent the stock and the stock is likely to fail on the bounce so this is one of the small details uh, on the statistics you should track. Stock re-breaks again to the 36 and when you did a, once you did a fake cal, you slowly fit it from there. But HPX is a different, I would say it's considered to be an IPO. 
mainly is because the volume is way too low. It only trades around 1.4 million shares throughout the day. So it's not a great as examples to show 14 percentages will affect into the second bounce. But if you want to compare OKYL to RKDA, RKDA did pretty much the same thing, very similar chart. This one pulled more than 50% at the 65%, and this one faded all the way back compared to pretty much the same as OKYO, faded to the neutralized area. Maximum fading point should be around 12, 20% to 25% above the neutralized area. So for OKYO, it should be 3.6, 25% should be 4. RKDA should be between yeah, 11 to 12 dollar area. Especially on the selling pressure on the first green day, if it tends to lose its momentum, the stock is likely to fade all the way back down. Uh, I've been changing the statistics about with that one. As I mentioned on the first green day shorting strategies, your risk reward typically is not that great. The risk reward ratio is around one to one. But if you look around into the second green, uh, second red day, this one you know, went to 34. Didn't really hit hit the bottom of the consolidations. HPX went all the way back down to 14. And this, if you look at the uh, the overall picture, overall picture for how much stock has gained and where is the 75% mark for multi-day runners, and this one faded, you know, only about 75% mark is around here, around 22, went all the way down to 17, our lowest is 14. So it's you only landed about 5% compared to the entire range that was gained yesterday. Shorting into the uh, following day on the red day it does have much better reward compared to shorting into the first green day. So those are the main statistics that you want to track for first green day. I do think it's really helpful. Try not to participate in the first parabolic spike. Always wait until the second pull to see how much it actually pulled. If it produces a bounce after it pulled more than 50%, it's worth a try on a bounce. If it pulls less than 50%, don't even worry about it. So for biotechs uh, specifically, you have to be more careful. Other than that, that'll be it for this recap. All right, guys, that'll be the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to check the course linking below. I will see you guys in the next time.